journey has been tough, uh, but I think it would have been tougher if I had not prepared, uh, I, you know, for the transition that comes after playing football. Uh, and I can say all is well at the moment. Uh, uh, I have a few things that are keeping me busy. Uh, I'm doing coaching at the International School of Kenya. I've been doing punditry, uh, Bamba Sports and at Radio Jumbo. And I've also been trying to push my business. So uh, I can say that God has been good. Uh, yes, it has. Yes, yes, it has. Because I think I had uh, done uh, due diligence before I ventured into this business. Uh, luckily enough, I've got a friend uh, who has been in this business for more than 20 years. Uh, and I think uh, before you get into any business, it's always good to have a mentor. So I was fortunate enough to have a mentor that has been guiding me, has been uh, guiding all the steps that I've been making. Uh, uh, so yes, and the struggles are there. They're always going to be there in any, any, any sort of business. So I'm not exempted from that. I've been struggling uh, at some point, uh, but I think uh, it looks uh, the, the coast looks clear. Uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. I've uh, been getting a lot of support from my former players, from the current players, and I'm very, very grateful for that. As I said, the competition is there. It, it's, it's always going to be there, regardless of uh, which uh, business you're doing. Uh, but I think we've uh, tried our best uh, to give all our clients, all our customers, an experience that they can never forget. It's not just about the money. It's not just about getting the products and giving us the money. It's about making you feel comfortable, making you feel appreciated. Uh, and I think a few of the clients that have been here can testify uh, with regards to that. Uh, but the other thing is, uh, is selling quality products. Uh, we always strive to give our, uh, our clients quality products. Uh, we've never had any complaints uh, from clients that feel that they were shortchanged, they didn't get what they, th they thought they were going to, to get. So uh, we've really been trying to keep up with the competition around. Uh, well, it has been a challenge. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, looking at football from a different perspective because uh, all my life I've always been looking at football from a player's perspective, but this time around uh, I have to look at it uh, from the tactical uh, point of view. Uh, it, so it hasn't been easy uh, trying to get away from what I used to know football to be or how I used to understand football. Uh, but I'd say so far so good, thanks to uh, the current federation, FKF. Uh, uh, you know, we've had a coaching course uh, last year. We did a coaching course, a CAF C coaching course. Uh, we also did a basic level and high level coaching course, uh, but and all that was for free. Uh, as you, as you're aware, knowledge is very expensive to come by. So I think I was uh, lucky enough to get uh, all that for free. Uh, well. Uh, I would like to coach a Kenyan Premier League side, uh, side in the near future, uh, that is my target, uh, but at the moment I've started with the youth, as I said, I need to understand uh, a few things about coaching before I can get to the top level, uh, but I can say so far so good, I think I'm on the right track. Well, it's, uh, it's an honour and a huge uh, privilege, uh, I think. I'm very grateful for the opportunity uh, to be among the mentors that will be uh, helping the kids in the Chapadimba uh, Safaricom, Safaricom Second Edition. Uh, uh, well, I think former footballers uh, for the longest time have been pushed aside. Uh, uh, you know, our country did not think that we had uh, something to add uh, in as far as football is concerned. But so thanks to Safaricom uh, for realizing that those who have been there know what the journey looks like. And so if uh, they could share that journey, if they were to share that journey uh, with the upcoming and aspiring footballers, then maybe uh, they would get to do much better than we did. Because along the way you get uh, uh, you know, to learn a lot of things, you get to realize uh, in hindsight that there are few things that you probably did wrong. And given a second chance, you wouldn't be able to do it. So it's those things that we did wrong along the journey that we are trying to ensure that the current generation uh, does not repeat. It certainly is a milestone uh, in as far as Kenyan football is concerned. Uh, the last time we played uh, uh, in the African Cup of Nations was in 2004 in Tunisia. That was a long time ago. And uh, uh, we hoped that we were going to take Kenya there uh, during our time. Unfortunately, that did not happen. But all the same, I'm happy uh, for the current crop of uh, footballers that have been doing very, very well uh, for our country. Finally, we get to see uh, footballers uh, playing at the biggest stage in Africa. And I'm pretty sure that's going to open up a lot of opportunities uh, for, for the 
footballers who are playing uh, right now because I've always believed that we have a lot of potential in Kenya there's a lot of talent uh, but then again if we don't get to play in those sort of tournaments we don't create the buzz we don't get uh, to attract uh, scouts to come into our region uh, so again I think a lot of opportunities are going to come by as a result of Kenya playing in the African Cup of Nations. What do you make of the state of Kenyan football going forward? I know several regimes in the past, the current regime under football, Kenya Federation President Nick Munda, just like you've hailed it, mm -hmm. it's put place some proper mechanisms that will steer football to another level. Another level. But in terms of growth and development of soccer locally, do you think it's getting progressive? I, I certainly think we are, we are heading in the right direction. Uh, there, there has been a lot of improvement. Uh, if you compare what's happening in Kenyan football now and what uh, used to happen, uh, look at how our teams are faring uh, in the continental uh, competitions. Yes. We saw Gormahia doing very well. Uh, last season, uh, this particular season, they've also started very, very well. Uh, they're into the second round of the Confederations Cup. Uh, our national team has qualified for the African Cup of Nations. It doesn't get bigger than that. Uh, I think a few years ago, about two years ago, we saw our female uh, 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 counterparts also qualifying for the Afri Women African Cup of Nations. Uh, and I think for the first time in my life, I, 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 I've come to hear that we, uh, Kenya as a country, we've got a... Uh, and an under 13 uh, national team that was unheard of uh, during my generation uh, uh, so I think investing in youth investing in youth structures is the way to go uh, look at all the countries that have been doing so well they've really really invested uh, in as far as uh, youth football is concerned. So I think we're heading in the right direction. We've got an under-13, under-15, under-17, uh, under-23. 20, uh, uh, so that's the way to go because uh, I think our, our senior team needs a feeder team. And uh, you can only get that right if you've got the structures uh, at the lower level uh, going on right. Uh, well, I'd say start preparing now, uh, but don't wait until uh, you feel like you're probably heading into your last uh, years of your career. Uh, prepare for your transition. If you if you have an opportunity to go back to school, do that. Uh, if you uh, are able to save some money, uh, ensure that you do that. Uh, but most importantly, uh, establish friendship, establish connections, uh, network as much as you can because uh, footballers are very fortunate in the sense that they get to meet all sorts of people, people from uh, you know different backgrounds. But I think at times we don't get to make the most out of those particular uh, opportunities. It could be that uh, reporter that always comes for an interview, uh, you know, after a match, but you always brush off saying how tired you are. Maybe that's the Person that's going to uh, employ you once you're playing uh, days are over uh, and I think um, most of the things that I do right now uh, I'm doing them because of the networking that I did when I was playing uh, for instance uh, I, ha I have an opportunity that's coming up as you said earlier on with Chapadimba uh, uh, which I can say that you're the one who uh, uh, you know who hooked me up with that particular opportunity because our friendship goes uh, you know back during the days that I used to play football we've established a, a really really nice bond uh, of friendship and that's why when you see an opportunity where you feel uh, uh, like I'm able to fit in you're always going to uh, uh, you know to, to, to recommend my name so to the current generation of footballers try and network as much as you can try and create uh, friendships because you know staying in your cocoon is not going to help much when your football uh, football days are over overall you are parting short with regards to football in the country and the general administration uh, I, I must say that I'm very, very excited, as I said earlier on, uh, for the first time I'm seeing uh, youth football uh, you know, being taken seriously, as seriously as uh, we should have probably started taking it uh, many, many years ago. Things are looking up. Again, Kenya has uh, qualified for the African Cup of Nations after a very, very long uh, time out uh, there. Our clubs have started doing very, very well. Recently, we had a tournament in Tanzania, uh, the Super Cup. Yes. Uh, we saw two Kenyan sites, that's Bandari FC and uh, um, Karibangi Sharks uh, making it into the finals and of course uh, congratulations to Karibangi uh, for eventually winning it. Uh, Gorma here, the defending champions were eliminated, uh, FC Leopards were eliminated. Uh, looking at those two teams that are always considered or that are considered uh, as, as the biggest team in Kenya, you, there's something, there's some similarity uh, uh, that, that you can find in both teams. They're all coached by foreign coaches, but they were the first teams to be eliminated from that particular tournament. The two teams that made it all the way uh, to the finals are all coached uh, by local coaches and very, very young. Bernard, Bernard Molala, Bandari, uh, uh, William Muluya, Art Karyubangi Shak. So I think, again, uh, we... 
are heading in a very, very uh, good direction in terms of empowering our own local coaches, in terms of ensuring that we give them an equal opportunity and, and, and all the cooperation and the support that they need to excel because that is what Kenyan coaches lack and that is what all these foreign coaches who come in and do well get and that's where the difference I think comes in. So when our local coaches are given the right support, they can also do uh, just as well as what the foreign coaches uh, do.